Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hello and welcome to another episode of Business Innovators Radio. I am your host, Ralph Brogdon, and today I am with Sue Zahn. She is the author of Young Mind, Young Body, and she is passionately supporting burned out entrepreneurs who are <laughs> fed up, feeling tired and ready to reconnect and feel the energy that they had in their 20s and 30s and to live a better life the life that they're destined to live. That sounds really exciting. And um, so I'm looking forward to speaking with you about that, Sue, (laughs) because that probably describes me. Um, (laughs) Sue is a board-certified holistic health practitioner, life energy health coach, primordial Qigong practitioner, and instructor. All of these things are really neat, and um, I'm looking forward to digging into it with you. Suzanne, welcome to the program. Thank you, Ross. Great to have. Uh, thank you for having me here. Absolutely. So, tell me a little bit about uh, your background. Where are you from, and uh, how you became interested in these this relationship between the mind and the body? Mm, such a great question. Get to the core of everything right away. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I grew up in China. And um, people live a very, very simple, straightforward life, rise with the sun, and uh, when the sun sets, we go to bed. And the food are pretty much plant-based, and meats, eggs, all that, um, holiday affairs. Um, Chinese medicine training was never in my mind, but I grew up with it. And um, I pick Chinese medicine herbs and also always fetch Chinese medical doctors for my mom. And so it becomes an innate part of my training without me knowing about it. Mm. Yeah. And um, so I didn't think much of anything about the way I was being raised and the way I grown up. And uh, Something the concept of exercise was um, was not a vocabulary people would use. 1993 January, I I came to America, and um, I had this dream, American dream. What was that? I didn't exactly know. It's something about living in a big house, driving a nice car, and um, so before I knew it. I was in the rat race, fast Mm. lane, (laughs) (laughs) corporate jobs, and uh, all of that. And uh, naturally, I became the you know a statistic on the epidemic too. Mm. I was overweight, 165 pounds. Does not sound like a whole lot to most people, but I'm I'm a tiny person, and. I was borderline diabetes, and I had brain fog, and um, I was chronically fatigued, always, always tired. Came back after a day, staying on the sofa. Once I parked it over there, that's the end of my day. Mm. And I sometimes slept right over there. Then wake up during the night, couldn't sleep well. So you used to be a couch potato, is what we call it. (laughs) (laughs) Couch potato. <laughs> well, I mean, that was not my intention, but it seems like that's that's how it was. Mm. And um, so, life was very painful, was lots of struggle. And um, I was a teacher, college teacher, back when I was in China before I came to America. And uh, I find myself often asked the question. Why did I come to America? What, what for? So the reality was that life was only about working and paying bills. And uh, I had all these things I originally was looking for. A big and better houses and um, nice cars, all that. But I was not happy. And deep down, I was lost. So what was the 
the turning point for you that took you from falling into the American nightmare is what you're describing now. We, th- <laughs> we think it's the dream, but then, then it turns into the nightmare, the right, the rat, ra- the rat race. Um, what, what was the turning point for you that, that took you, that, that changed you from kind of going down that path to, to starting down the path that you're on now? Yeah. No, back then I thought, you know, I was approaching close to, um, closing to you know, my mid forties, and I thought life was life was over. But I always, deep down, somehow I sensed there's something bigger for me, and um, I, did, I I felt life was not over for me. So one day, I was driving. I heard Suzanne Summers talking about her cancer and how her doctors asked her to put to put her affairs together since she refused the chemo therapy treatment. Mm. And the ten, mm. 10 years down the road, she was on Dennis Miller's show and recounting the tale. And somehow, suddenly, something clicked inside of me. She talked about alternative medicine and a treatment. And um, I said, wait a minute. That was how I was being raised. Mm. And uh, so I started, um, went through all her books. And uh, then I went on to to the bookshelves in the library and uh, read all about alternative healing and about alternative healing modalities, all of that. And um, that's how I got my um, weight under control and reversed. And my blood sugar under control and my fatigue reversed. And uh, the brain fog was gone. Mm. And um, back then, there was still one piece. I was not piecing together. That's my life's meaning and purpose. Life cannot just be paying bills, paying bills and uh, doing something I do not know why I was doing. And then one day I found uh, Deepak Chopra's book. That's um, timeless, timeless mind, ageless body. Mm. And I said, wow, it's not too late for me to start all over again. And you were, what, how old were you at this point? What, what was your age? You said in your 40s? Mid 40s. Mid 40s. Yeah. Yeah. And mid 40s. And I thought, according to most Chinese thinking, most people were preparing for their retirement. Hmm. And the life, life is pretty much, was pretty much considered, considered over at that age. And uh, so, so when I watched TV back then, I saw all this overweight, this weight loss programs, giving people the pills, the magic, and the pros- promising the moons and the stars. And the people lose the weight and gain it all, all, all back again and then, start, and then some more. I'm saying, hmm, okay, there must be something here. <laughs> 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 so I got something. <laughs> And uh, so, so then without any pills, that's the beauty of it. Mm. So I went on with the uh, Institute for Integrative Nutrition. That was when, when midnight I couldn't sleep, you know, this restlessness that, that kept me from sleeping. This, you know, life is not on purpose. And uh, so this restless drives me to do all this research and everything. What can I do? To, to have a way of life that would live my purpose and also would keep, keep me at my natural best. Mm. So they were marketing about this. Um, health coaches, you know, li- live a way of life that can naturally put you at your best. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> and help the people who, who have all these physical symptoms to do the same while you are living yours. Mm. Yeah, a, l- a year later, I registered, enrolled with their program. And um, then later on, of course, I wrote the book, Young Mind, Young Body. 
and uh, just keeps adding on. Well, that's really neat that that you had to go full circle. You you came away from your roots and came over here, but you had to go back to to your roots, back to your your basic philosophy of how you were raised in order to find the health and and also to find the purpose. I like how you brought the importance of having purpose into our life. It's not just about looking good and feeling good, but having a purpose and understand, understanding why we are here has a lot to do with our mental, emotional, and physical health as well, doesn't it? Oh, you <laughs> it's everything. <laughs> Yeah, it's um, <clears throat> you just sum, summed up that so nicely. Yeah, our life, whether we realize it or not, we 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 are on our course, and uh, we have been prepared right from day one. It's until this awareness dawns that we started to have this realization that we are on it, and then. When we gain this awareness, we start to put it all together with with a more a more focused plan. Mm. Now, it, it you help burned out entrepreneurs. <laughs> There's probably a lot of burned out entrepreneurs because entrepreneurs are very busy and they're very focused on productivity, and they end up. I think probably depleting their energy and and feeling tired. But uh, what would you say is the most common problem um, when you're trying to help entrepreneurs get their energy back and and to feel more like they did in their 20s and 30s? What is the biggest obstacle? What prevents people from from seeing success in that area of their life? Hmm, Very interesting question. Um, what, through my whole life, through my own experience, I think the bottom line, it boils down to this awareness. This, that, there's a medical industry that's going to help us get better. Mm. And, um, it's, people seem to have to draw a line. It's, there's somewhere that you know it's before and after before they get sick after they get sick it's <laughs> most yeah most people gain that awareness after a emergency visit mm. and then somehow people think that you know it, it, this is the same thing with our medical industry is that we have lots of these stats it's 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 there to say whether you are sick or not and there's a pr- progression and how we live our life um, to all the details, how we think every single thought, how we respond or interact with life's daily happenings and how we move our body, how we, how we um, nourish our body, all of that plays, all, all, all of that plays a major role in our life. And um, so, so it's, it's not like suddenly one day we just break down. Suddenly one day we feel tired. Most people, you know, in the morning, first thing in the morning, we have to drink coffee. Mm-hmm. Why do people do that? That's what I do. It, <laughs> you still do that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, if you love it, you love the smell of the coffee. That's one thing. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you feel like you have to drink it to wake up in the morning, then essentially what what we are doing is that I don't want to see you. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I can handle it. You can tell me the truth. <laughs> Let's see. <say> wait. <laughs> So essentially what we are doing is that it's like we are borrowing money from an empty bank account. <laughs> so we, we don't have the money there. We don't have the energy there. But we are rubbing our body. We are pushing our body, stimulating our body for the energies we don't have. So, so our body is innately very, very intelligent. 
So let's say, oh, we don't use the brain right now. Let's take something from there. We don't need to use the muscle on the leg right now. Let's take something from there. So our body borrows things from from the body. That's some woman, you know, can't get pregnant. That's some of that has that reason too, is that the, the, the body borrows energy from all parts of the body to 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 stimulate, to give the energy we need to to cope with life's ever never ending demands. Mm. So we can we can function at a minimum. Mm. So that's what happens. So gradually we do a little bit, we rub a little bit every day. So one day does not seem to make much difference. Two day, eh, it's okay. Three day, okay, I'm still working. I'm still doing stuff. Five years down the road. I mean, it's getting, it's from um, okay to bad to worse. (laughs) And then, you know, some disease, disease, we start feel pains and we start to find the belly weight. We start to find, you know, our back start to have some accumulations. I mean, why? Because our body does not have the energy to burn them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and so start to have to show up as weight and uh, as, um, as some disease. And that's some of the heart problems. All of this has the root in that. Mm. I'm speaking with Sue Zahn. She is a board-certified holistic health practitioner, life energy health coach. You're also a primordial Qigong practitioner. And I've, I've got a little bit of experience with Qigong, and I know that there are different branches and different schools of Qigong. Explain to our listeners what your particular type of qigong is and how it benefits yeah the the qigong by um is called a walking meditation by harvard i think that's a jiang wen Mm. and um the it's the cultivation of our mind and to to train our mind to think single thoughts to focus on our body the form I teach and practice on a daily basis is called Primordial Qigong. That's to bring us to our supreme state where we are one with the source and uh, we are the stillness. And uh, it incorporates uh, feng shui, that's the lucky location, lucky positioning in life. Mm. And Bagua, that's, um, Bagua is, is, is also part of Feng Shui. It's that you stand in the center of your life. In this uh, Qigong, I practice, you practically stand in the center, going through all the four directions, collecting, collecting life energy, purifying, and, um, cleansing. And then it also has the parts about Chinese medicine, five elements, inner alchemy. So, so day in, day out, you practice. It, it helps for many of us. We are on the journey to, to integrate um, our emotions and our mental into our body with our physical. This will be a perfect exercise. So many times, uh, some of my clients that many times that we think we don't want to react in a certain way. For example, you know, w- wife and a husband living together, one says something, the other has got to be better, had yelling, screaming, <laughs> getting angry, all of that. Mm-hmm. We don't do that. We knew it's a pattern. But when we, when, when, you know, when we are being, being put in that position, we can't help. We do it. And uh, so Qigong practice actually helps to rewire our brain and uh, to think differently. So, so any intellectual um, awareness we have, this practice can help us bring that all together. So we leave nothing apart. So we can have our emotions and our mentals and our spiritual to be on board with us. 
Mm. Now, you, you work with, specifically, you work with entrepreneurs, with business owners, with with people, professional people. What is the benefit to having their energy and, and, and their motivation? How does that help them in their business? What's the the benefit for a business owner or an entrepreneur to say, hey, I'm going to do some Qigong or practice centering myself or, or basically just getting mentally and emotionally more aware. What, what is the benefit to them in their business? Imagine life energy pulses through your body and you feel alive and the new ideas kept pumping up urge you to take actions to do the things that can move your business forward and opens the floodgate of all these creative ideas. And um, long-term practice, this is what that does to you. Mm. And uh, this energy. And the other thing is that it helps you sleep better too. And also sharpens the brain. That we, it is said that we are only using, the majority of us, only using 10% of our brain capacity. And uh, imagine what's going to happen if we can ha- tap into, let's say, 50%, mm. maybe 70%, 80%. We would be very, very powerful. Mm-hmm. And um, imagine all the success we can have in our life. And uh, practicing this form can help us facilitate that flow. Mm. I, I really like that because I, I think um, I think a lot of business people look at things only in, in practical, bottom line, profit based things. But in my experience, and, and you probably believe this as well, when we feel better, we do better. And people who sleep well and eat well and they have more energy, uh, they, they've got more power to deal with the things that are coming against them in a, in a stressful environment and running a business and, and building it up, that can be very stressful. So it sounds like you've got some really neat uh, techniques and practices to, to help people in, in all of these areas, not only to improve their life and their health, but their business as well. Yeah. You know, we always talk about miracles mm-hmm. and uh, when we have our, energy at its best. We are happy. We feel fulfilled. We, help, we feel satisfied. And we are prepared, uh, prepared to do more. And when we are in that zone, miracles happen. And um, it's, it's, it's almost like we do our part. Universe meets us halfway. Mm. And um, so it's like in life, Health is like life. So when we do the things to put us in that zone, I, I normally call that ease and grace. We are really not trying and we are not really struggling. We are not really working hard because when we love the things we do, we are not working. We are we're having a ball. Mm. Like, you know, what we are having here. Yeah. <laughs> are you having a ball? Yeah, <laughs> I'm jumping all over. <laughs> I can, Arms up, everything. I can tell you, you've got very positive energy, and and I this is very good. I have to tell you, I'm I'm sipping coffee as I'm listening to you talk, and I'm I'm feeling like I should probably cut back on the coffee a little bit. Maybe if you're going to, um, what what you can do is, I mean, being a health coach, you know, sometimes the words just comes out. <laughs> sure, yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you could uh, sip some like hot lemon with honey. You, you know, you just bo- boil some hot water and uh, pour that into uh, a fresh cut of lemon mm. and uh, put some raw honey in it. And you can drink that as your first drink. So that detox, that's also the form that our, our body hydrates, the deep pours everything. That's how our body takes it. Hot water also helps with build up our digestive power because that matches up with the fire, digestive fire in our in our digestive tract. Mm. 
so which is good. And then you can have coffee after your breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> so so that that it gives you the power stimul stimulation and uh, boost up your metabolism for for better digestion. Yeah, so very good. It, yeah, so you have you can have both. Well, that sounds good. Well, that's encouraging. So um, <laughs> that's really neat. Now, you, you are the author of Young Mind, Young Body. That's your your book. Um, I'm, I'm curious, are you working on any anything else right now that's got you really excited? Wow, I'm glad you are asking. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, <clears throat> I have been working on a Qigong ebook. Oh, and. Yeah, very excited about it. I've been writing it very slow, just like Young Mind, Young Body. I like to live through it mm. and become the message. And uh, so I write it slow and write just a little bit every day. Like Young Mind, Young Body it took me three years to get it done. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this Qigong book, and um, now it's about done. And uh, I'm just looking for some ways for more to make it easier for people to follow. And the other thing, very, very interesting and exciting is that for some time I've been figuring out how, how, to, how to get this book done in the same time with, with a video that could help people to, to practice. And so I just uh, recently, I just got a way to, to do that too. Mm. Very very excited about it. I had uh, done one just just to 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 put it on YouTube so anybody can can follow and use. But a more detailed one that um, breaks down with all the movements. That's going to be packaged with the book to go out probably towards the end of this year. Oh, very exciting! Yeah, very very. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I'm, I'm sure our listeners, and, and especially those who are burned out and wanting more energy uh, to, to run their business, are going to want to find out more about you. How can our listeners uh, reach out and get in touch with you? It's uh, www.suzong.com, just my name.com, or www.youngmindyoungbody.com. It's all the same place. Okay, so youngmindyoungbody.com or suzon.com, and that's in case someone is listening and they're not on the website, it's su, S-U-E, zong, Z-I-A-N-G.com. Um, yeah, um, once um, you get to my site, I got uh, some um, opt-in form over there. That's the uh, newsletters. That's all free, bi-weekly. I send out very, very good content that you could use right away, that you could see improvement in your life right away. Very and good. Especially, yeah, to the energy level. Excellent. And all organic. <laughs> okay. Very good. Yeah. I'm going to run over and sign up here in just a few minutes. Um, any final thoughts or words of wisdom? This has been very educational and very enlightening. Um, and I'm just wondering if you have any final thoughts you'd like to share with our listeners. I um, When people ask me that how to get their best health, how to live their best life. I always say, you are powerful. You have all the answers. All you need to do is to look within and meditate. And um, so once you get that power, you connect it with that power center. And um, then just cultivate from there, letting go. and. Um, pay attention to what's coming up, then you start to live your life purpose. When you are on your purpose, when you feel the strong passion, when you are happy, you would be naturally doing all the things that's going to build up your body, build up your mind, and you would be eating the good stuff, you'll be eat, sleeping well, and you will be moving your body. And it's not a chore, and it's a way of life. And it's very, very easy. Once, once you build a life around that, you build a way of life, a life habit around that life you want to live. And um, it's just natural. It's ease and a grace. There's no trying, no effort. So this way, so stress is not part of the equation. Mm. 
Words of wisdom from Suzanne. She is the author of Young Mind, Young Body. She's a board-certified holistic health practitioner and life energy health coach. Thank you so much, Sue, for being on the program today. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you, Ralph, for having me. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.